stories. People have been telling stories since our early days. Stories are part of our ancient society and our modern society. The person who was painting on the wall of the cave, or the person who is using the most sophisticated software machine to create an image, both are members of the same tribe, the tribe of storytellers. This tribe of storytellers is an, an endless search of telling stories in new ways. Today, we all join this journey. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! This is Sports Today. We're here with UFC superstars Edson Jr. Barboza and Mark Bonecrusher Ducasey. It's early round three of five here in Las Vegas. Nice flurry of punches from Ducasey. This is Sports Tomorrow. Key Deep Analysis ranks these fighters as two of the most explosive fighters in the UFC. Oh, right hook from Barboza. Barboza's glove sensor measures a force of 7.2 of 10. Heed has Jacasey wavering. He looks strong, Heed. Jacasey's left cheek impact detected at 8 of 10, a hard punch. Jacasey's agitation is higher than UFC average for that impact. Jacasey is smiling. Look at that. He's taunting Barboza, but Barboza's all business. Don't get confused with his smile. Heed's emotional analysis shows a different different perspective. Barboza is confident while Jacasey is passive. Octagon floor sensor measures Barboza's energy up 18%. Jacasey down 10%. All locked up here, Heed. Jacasey aggression index is rising fast. Expect to shift soon. Great sweep by Barboza. Jacasey's back up. He's got his leg, lands a few punches. The global audience shifts to Jacasey. Back and forth. England is with Jacasey while Brazil is pulling hard for their Barboza. While local audience stays with Barboza, both are strong. Both are strong. They are bringing it. This is tremendous, what a fight. Both fighters are gaining confidence. Wow, double 360 from Barboza, Jacasey blocks, oh! What a kick by Jacasey, wow, spectacular. And that's the end of round three. Now for the inside story with Heed. Heed has the indices adding up even. While Barboza's punishment index tops at 8.9, Jacasey's aggression index is all the way at 8.7. Historical fight analytics says we're in for a four round even fight, Gary. You heard it from Heed. Invite your friends. We're in for an exciting night. What a amazing fight. <laughs> Barbosa is from Brazil. Jacasey is from England. They just performed a scripted fight, but they are about the real thing. Those guys stand on the octagon in the most toughest, demanding sports in the world, the UFC. What you also saw is how we want to tell sports. What you've seen right now is a two minutes of a UFC fight where 70 new insights we were introduced during that fight. Those insights are covering entire aspects of the fight of Jacasey and Barbosa. They cover their passion, they cover the power of the fight, they cover the resiliency, they cover the strategy. All those things happen on the octagon. Shouldn't we tell a story of sport that way? Shouldn't sport be told in real time with real data, the real information, the real data, the real insights, and the real emotions. That's what you saw on the big screens, and we're also gonna show you how it's gonna to look today on the smartphone. We are a company which is trying to revolutionize the way we're gonna tell sports and live events. So first, who are we? We are a partnership between two companies. AGT International, which is my company, which was building such solutions for the industry, and Endeavor, which is a WME, IMG company, headed by Ari. Ari, will you please stand up? Headed by Ari Emanuel, who is one of the well-known people in the industry. 
WME IMG is the largest entertainment and sports and fashion organization in the world. Together we envisioned this story, how to tell the world with Internet of Things, sports and entertainment. So how do we create 70 insights in two minutes, insights that have not been seen before? It all starts with this. It starts with the data that we collect from sensors. If you would see up there what we have right now, we have a camera which has on top of it very smart uh, analytics on the edge. The mat that you see over here is a very smart mat. It can manage movement, analyze pressure, analyze so many things. This mat and the camera are connected to the same center. We also have uh, Thomas, Dr. Thomas Bader, we also have the glove, which is a smart glove. And inside this glove, we have this sensor. This sensor alone can create about 12 different stories. And the stories are from the strength of the punch all the way to the impact the punch had on the other fighter. Very sophisticated stuff. The glove is connected to the mat. It's connected to the camera. We are agnostic to sensors. Our philosophy, a sensor is a storyteller, and it's a great storyteller if it has very good analytics connected to it. So we deal with any sensors. We are covered with thousands of sensors. Over here in this UFC fight, we covered ourselves with audio and video and the things that I just described. Now, all this, those sensors create data which is flowing up into what we call our world graph. Our world graph is the centerpiece of our product. And actually, it's where everything is happening on top of it. The world graph is the semantic representation of the physical world and the entities participating in it. And the physical world over here was the UFC fight. And the entities were, of course, the two fighters, Jacquees and Barbosa. Usually the other entities are gonna be the corner men's, which some of us relate to them as coach. Each team has about three corner men. And it's gonna be the referee. And of course it's gonna be the physical entities, such as the octagon. And it's gonna be a, the non-abstract entity, which is gonna be the fight itself. All those are entities that are on the world graph. The world graph knows everything about those entities, their properties, their dynamics, their complex behavior. The world graph also knows about the relationship between the entities, because we want to tell a story. We are not about statistics of the fight. We are about the story of the fight. So the world graph knows things like the connection between the fighter and between his coach. The world graph is also covering the historical behavior of the fighters. So we know what they've been doing in the past. So what we have on the world graph in real time is the information which comes with the sensors that describe to us the fight, and we have the historical data. On top of the world graph, we have our AI agent. There is a way I want you to think about it. Think about a robot that sits right now in every sport event in the world. Think that robot is connected to sensors that I just told you. And that robot has one mission, is to be able to provide to each one of you what you want to know about the sport event, even if you're not there. So the AI agent that we have that run, runs on top of the world graph is looking at the world graph and is asking questions. What's interesting, what's important, and what's fun so I can be able to provide this information in a cool way to my audience and to my fans. And that's what the AI agent is doing. Extremely sophisticated agent. And what he also knows is, he knows what each one of us would like to get. It might be that I would like to get the emotional part of the fight, and someone wants to get the, to know about the physical part of the fight. So he's gonna be able also to understand what each one of us want, and to pick from the fight that we saw right now, and from the 70 analytics, to send it to the relevant people, and whatever they wanna see. Now, how does this work? 
and I want to show you this specifically, because this is a very complicated, comprehensive information. Think you're such intense fight on a such small octagon, and to be able to identify all those great emotions and great things, that's the reason why in our company we have more than 100 PhDs who are data scientists, and the same number of developers, and we have artists, and we have visual people, because we believe that the way to tell a story right now is the combination of science and technology and art to be able to tell a great story to all of us, the story of this UFC fight. So you saw the moment in the fight where JKZ was stunting to Barbosa. Of course, it was scripted, but it's based on a real fight. In that moment, something else happened. JKZ got a very strong punch from Barbosa. The AI, who is looking at the world graph, identified that the punch was on the top 10% of that weight class. How does the AI know that? Because the sensor, which is on the glove, is connected to machine learning and already saw thousands of thousands of fights. So the glove tells the AI this was a unique punch. It was on the top 10%. At that moment, the AI begins the trigger of the story. And for him right now, the first thing he's going to do is going to tell all of you who watch the fight, or maybe you're at home and you don't watch the fight, he's going to tell you, hey, by the way, if I know you like a UFC fight, right now was a unique punch that Barbosa gave Jake Hazy. But there's another thing that's going to happen. He's going to keep searching and looking for more interesting information. And what he's going to be also finding is going to find the impact of the punch. Eight out of 10 is a strong punch, but what impact it did on Jake Hazy? And the world graph will inform the AI agent or the robot who is right now sitting and watching for us the fight, will inform him that the impact was eight out of 10, where 10 is a knockout. Now, each one of us is knockout is a different number. So my 10 is definitely not their 10. So he is going to say it was eight out of 10, which is a very high number to be eight out of 10. At this point, the world graph knows that Jacquizzi is under stress. He starts to ignore Jacquizzi's stenting. He doesn't look at that anymore because he knows he's under stress, but he's checking more information. He finds out that Jacquizzi's energy went down in 10%, all real information. He's also going to look at the coach or the corner man. The corner man is participating in the fight. The corner man has emotions. The corner man has feelings. So when the corner man is worried, it means something about his fighter. So we use three different analytics over here, for instance, physiological analytics, and video analytics, and audio analytics. By the way, why audio analytics? Because we can see that the verbal activity, the verbal activity of the coach to Jacquizzi increases per historical, historical data. So right now, the world graph knows for sure that Jacquizzi is under stress, because he got it from him, and he got it from him or he got it from anyone else. By the way, we also have family members who are over here watching the fight. Family members, can you stand up for a second? Okay, they have also sensors. Thank you. They have sensors. Because why? Because they are part of the fight. They want to say how they feel about the fight. And when they get nervous, they know their family. And also, by the way, we have the same thing you saw. We find out what people feel in Brazil or what people feel in England about the fighters. So right now, all the world is connected to this fight. What happens right now is that the corner man is also under stress. The AI agent knows right now for clear that Jacquizzi is manipulating the fight. He actually got a very tough punch, and the AI is able to measure something that you should never measure in Las Vegas is able to measure the poker face. He is able to measure that Jacquizzi was playing it. And you know what happened to Barbosa? He fell into it because Barbosa, in 85% of the past, every time that he feels that he can get down, get down his, his the opponent, he attacks him. But over here, Barbosa chose to stay away. He believed the taunting. He didn't believe the data that we have. But we, with our AI, we can tell our fans and we can tell the people who are watching the fight, here is really what's happening. Now, how do we tell it? I'm just talking about it right now for four minutes. This is really long. We know no one is watching anymore four minutes information. 
Videos are going down less than a minute. So how do we tell it? We are taking all this data that I just told you for four minutes, and we visualize it in the way people look at the world. We visualize it through avatars. The avatars is the best way for us in the UFC. By the way, in other sports, we're using different visualization. The avatars is the best way for us to be able to take a lot of data and to summarize it in real time. Now, I want to tell you something which is very important. The avatar is connected to sensors. So the avatars over here are telling us the real story. They're not just virtual thing. They are the real thing. And sometimes the avatar is going to show us that while JKZ is tenting, is basically in a tough situation. The avatar will be the real story. And this is the way we're going to tell you the story. If you cannot watch the fight, and you don't have time to watch the fight, and if you don't have time to see the data that we are sending you, you can be connected to JKZ, and you can be connected to Barbosa through their avatars. And you might forget that they have a fight, but you might see right now suddenly on your phone an avatar comes in and tells you JKZ is in trouble, or Barbosa is winning, or Jacques is in great, in great shape, or both of them are winning. And when we talk about winning, you can't win without having great partners. And the great partners that we have for this is Amazon. So all this process that I just described to you is on the Amazon, which what's one thing I can say about them, we are building over here a very complicated process of how to build storytelling. And Amazon is working with us, not as a giant, but also as a startup. They are a startup who works as a giant with us on what we are doing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are focused about telling a new way to tell sports and live events in a new way. To bring into it passion, to show it in real time, to bring the same energy that you have in the game, to have it right now in the information that you get. And all of this is in order to serve you. I hope you're all going to be on our platform and really enjoy it. Thank you very much.